Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how diodes work, how to use them in our circuits. Also I will do an example project to show you how we should place our diode in our circuit. And at the end I will also show you how to verify if our diode works or not. Let's start. Diodes. The schematic of a diode looks similar to LEDs because LED is also some sort of a diode. We have a plus side, anode and minus side cathode. Diodes let current flows only in one direction, from plus to minus side. It prevents reverse voltage and also protects your circuits. It's mostly used in to convert AC to DC, which we will be looking in the next slide. A typical diode has a voltage drop of 0.7 volts. But always look at the manufacturer's data sheets to be exact. Because if, for example, if you much put too much voltage or current or less voltage and current, the voltage drop can change. So we have a half bridge rectifier here. We have one AC voltage source, one diode, one load. As you can see, only positive sine waves will be allowed and the negative sine waves will be blocked. It prevents only plus sides of a sine wave through and negative sides will be blocked. So it's inefficient because we can't use the negative sine waves. So what we have is a full bridge rectifier. I am not going to go to in detail about circuit, but it converts AC to DC as a full sine wave. It's very efficient and it's really commonly used almost in any adapters. If you have a mobile ch phone charger, if you open it, you will see a full bridge rectifier. As you can see, red waves are positive sine waves and blue waves are negative sine waves. It converts both of them to DC. So let's build an example project. We have a voltage source, a diode, and I actually wanted to use a LD first, but LD is also some sort of a diode. So I went with a DC motor which can work in both directions it doesn't it will just change the direction of its rotation we have voltage drop by diode and we have a voltage drop by dc motor let's assume our dc motor needs at least 12 volts to work so then we will need a much higher yeah, we will need a higher voltage source than 12 volts which is voltage drop of diode plus voltage drop of DC motor which is at least 12.7 volts and let's assume we connect the uh, plus sides and ground sides of our voltage source in a wrong way what should happen is the motor shouldn't be spinning Actually, the motor won't spin because diode less current only in one direction. So let's build our example project. As you can see, we have connected plus side to the plus side of diode and the cathode to the one side of motor and the other side of the motor ground to ground of our DIY power supply. When we open our DIY power supply, we can see the motor is spinning because we connected the cables in a correct way. Let's assume you accidentally connected ground sides to diodes to the plus side of diodes and the plus sides in another way, in the other side of the motor. As you can see, the motor is not spinning because diodes prevents the current flow. So let's measure the voltage drop across our diode. I connected my multimeter in parallel. As you can see, it's 0.2127 volts right now. When I increase the voltage, you can read from my multimeter that it starts to decrease. 
and it became 0.21 I am changing the two volt sides as you can see it goes below so it depends on the diode that you are using the voltage drop can change so I connected ground to the uh, plus side of diode so as I showed before the motor won't be spinning but what happens with the voltage drop of our diode as you can see the voltage drop of our diode is equal to our voltage source so all of the voltage will be blocked so let's see if my diode works as you can see I have a 0 0.189 so it works and let's see if my actually broken one works I know it's broken but let's measure it I am in the diode section of my multimeter as you can see I have no reading so it's broken let's throw it in the trash